about a mermaid that had a hundred pet jellyfish. The mermaid and her hundred pet jellyfish. Wow. In the depths of the ocean lay a mermaid kingdom ruled by Queen Luminia. Once Luna had a little pet goblin who gave him full gifts every single day. Hi, I'm Erin St. Blain for Adafruit, and for today's project, we're going to make a magic book that tells endless stories. This book is a really magical device. Inside is a Raspberry Pi with a touchscreen that talks to ChatGPT using voice recognition. So all I have to do is talk to the book and ask for the story I want, and it will write me endless stories. First, we'll do the electronics build. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 attached to a 7-inch touchscreen, and then I have also soldered on a few accessories. I've got a magnetic read switch so that the book knows when it is open or closed. I have a little NeoPixel for an indicator light, and then plugged in a little USB microphone so it can hear me talking. Solder a power, ground, and data wire to your NeoPixel and trim the connectors off your read switch. Trim and tin all your wires and add some heat shrink. all the wires to your Raspberry Pi. We've got a full build tutorial with wiring diagrams and pinouts at learn.adafruit.com. We'll solder on the reed switch, add the NeoPixels, and then finish up by adding the wires that go to the touchscreen. Plug in your USB microphone and then add the ribbon cable that attaches to your touchscreen. Plug in the power and ground wires from the Raspberry Pi to the touchscreen and assemble it together. I screwed mine on upside down because it fits better inside the book that way. Test to make sure your read switch is working by holding up a magnet to see if the screen goes to sleep. Now we're ready to put it inside our book. I found this fabulous old book in an abandoned paper mill called the Esoteric in the California foothills. There were so many moldering old books in this room. The rain and the rats were destroying them. And uh, I rescued this one, which <laughs> used to be a book of poetry by Sir Thomas More. I've kept him in here for posterity. I have to tell you, it was not easy to take my bandsaw to this book and uh, destroy this work of art. <laughs> but uh, I think I made it a little bit better. So um, let's get started. I started by finding the center of the book screen with a template and uh, sandwiching the pages between a couple pieces of wood, which I then screwed together so that they were nice and strong and firm. I used a drill to round out a couple of the corners. The corners are kind of the hardest part to do on the saw and then took it to the bandsaw and carefully cut all the pages out. This worked really well. They came out in a nice block and uh, it wasn't that hard to do. It's working. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I used Mod Podge to paint around the inside and the outside of the pages to turn them into a solid block. I set a magnet into the cover and made sure it would line up with the cutout I made for the read switch. I also made a cutout for the NeoPixel and cut out of the sides of the book a little hole for the on-off switch and for the charging port. I glued the battery down and then filled up the rest of the remaining space with craft foam so that the Raspberry Pi would sit flush with the top of the book. To make the outside of the book look a little more magical, I used a black wash over the whole cover, which is just some black acrylic paint diluted with some water, and then wiped it all off with a paper towel before it was dry. This gets the black kind of into the cracks and crevices and really emphasizes the detail on the book. I put a coat of acrylic black paint over the gold lettering as well. I add, and then for the inside, wanted to decorate the title page with a fancy sticker that I made on my vinyl cutter. I've got the files up at learn.adafruit.com if you want to use the same one. I used my book template to carefully cut out the middle of the page just so that it would line up perfectly with the Raspberry Pi inside. 
The trick I used to set the pie inside the book was to use a template and cut out just the perfect size for the screen out of one of the pages that was attached firmly into the book. Then I took this page and I glued it to the front of the Raspberry Pi so that it would stay down and that the pie would be held gently inside the book, but that I could still lift it up from behind to access the back of the Raspberry Pi if I needed to. To make the Neo Pixel accent, I used a little bit of UV resin inside of a piece of scrapbooking jewelry that I glued right above the Neo Pixel. This makes a real nice diffusion and makes it seem real magical. I finished up the book by adding a couple of book corners and a 3D printed Orin, which is a symbol from the Never Ending Story movie. I put that on the side as well. We've got a full build tutorial on the Adafruit learning system at learn.adafruit.com with links to the products and step-by-step uh, -step directions on how to build this thing. So if you want to build your own magic book, head over to learn.adafruit.com and don't forget to click that subscribe button. Have a great day and thanks for watching.